the channel. My name is Jarrett. This is Supercar Specifics. This is uh, the exposed video of what happened and how I was cleaned out of all my life savings and my monthly disability funds, rent, food, Christmas money, everything. I was completely cleaned out. So for those of you who don't know me uh, and who are new, because I'm going to make this video not just for the automotive community, but for the whole of YouTube um, and for everyone, because uh, uh, this is just unconscionable. It should never happen. And I will be talking about the major banking institution that let it happen. So, like I said, my name is Jarrett. Yes, I am disabled. These are my crutches. I am now sitting in my walker. Uh, July 4th, 2017, I fell basically three and a half, four stories off a roof, completely blew up my feet. The landing, I can't even talk about it. That pain is unbelievable. I spent nine months in the hospital. So in the emergency room, after it happened, when I was in the emergency being taken to the, in the ambulance, the news, first of all, the news helicopters were over my accident scene like within two minutes so this is on the news it's confirmable for those of you who don't know me I developed what's called compartment syndrome it's a very rare form of swelling seven hours so imagine this so I shattered my feet in two thousands of fractures fractures like heels feet everything then the swelling kicked in so seven hours of non-stop swelling my feet swelled up into footballs I'll show you here uh, this picture is uh, a, a week after the surgery, my first surgery uh, when they were checking on the stitches. Uh, this is a picture of me in my wheelchair I was in for nine months. I was actually supposed to spend that the rest of my life in that wheelchair, but I fought to get to crutches. I still can't walk. I live in absolute agonizing pain 24 seven. Like the moment I wake up till I go to bed and that's if I sleep, it's excruciatingly painful. So seven hours, my feet won't stop swelling. What happens is all those fractures turns into shards of bone. So my heels, glass, feet, glass, like broken glass are now broken shards inside my feet. The pain was so intense, I tried ending my life in the emergency room. They uh, call me trying to do it. They put me under. Every painkiller on earth would not work. They started me off on Dilaudid. Then they gave me fentanyl and ketamine. Then propofol to put me under because nothing was working. I was trying to end my life. Uh, it was absolutely horrible. They tell me they're... Uh, oh, another thing uh, about my accident is that my mom, she sees it on the news out west, figures out it's me. Like imagine if you're a mother and you find out your son's critical condition on the other side of the country. She jumps on the plane, red eye, boom, flies, walks into the hospital room to hear the doctor telling me that I might have to amputate both my feet. Both my feet. Thank God. So this is how close I came to having both my feet amputated. 97%. That was the number they gave me. I, I had a rock star doctor by the name of Dr. LaRue amazing guy called him doctor down to earth because he would just like shake you know shake my hand every time he saw me call me by my first name hey what's up bro what's up bro you know like that great guy doctor saved my feet so instead of amputating they took gigantic chunks out of the tops bottoms and sides of my feet tell if you look at my feet i have gigantic chunks taken out but i'm not going to do that here it's youtube i don't want to this is an important video that's my accident. Nine months in the hospital, nine months in a wheelchair, three different hospitals, one of them being literally one of the worst convalescent care hospitals in all of Canada. Like decrepit, falling apart. Uh, I don't even want to get into it. It was, it was awful. Like this is like the worst place on earth. She's in tears. So it was not easy. I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life in a wheelchair. I refused to do that and Basically for nine months straight in the hospital, I watched Daily Driven Exotics, Stradman, Savage Garage, Shmi, all these major YouTube channels, and I decide that I'm going to start a channel on my own. And that's what this is. 
So if you're new and you're seeing this, please, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's fully cinematic, fully edited car vlogs. Some of the rarest cars on the planet. I've even filmed Drake three to three different times. Uh, once in his Manzuri Rolls Royce and him walking around Toronto uh, once in a flying spur and most recently I filmed him going to dinner in his Maybach Londolay and making friends with his drivers who are like the greatest people on earth. So you know if you want to see that type of content please please subscribe. Even if you don't please subscribe because I like this is my life now. YouTube is my life and I work extremely hard at it. Uh, I film uh, six days a week, 10 to 12 hours a day on extremely painful feet, filming cars. Just trust me, it's not easy with my crutches being in pain. So I get out of the hospital, I develop my YouTube channel, I get back on my feet, um, you know, I, I finally have a smile on my face. Finally have a smile on my face. I work my butt off to have a smile on my face again. I never thought I was gonna walk ever again, and I never thought I was ever gonna smile again. I still can't walk, but I have a smile on my face. Cars brought that back to me. Filming and starting my YouTube channel like Shradman or like F-Spot, meeting DD, actually at meeting one of the biggest uh, people uh, on, on YouTube for automotive, uh, Daily Driven Exotics. I met them a year to the day of my accident, which was pretty crazy. That video is on my, those two videos are on my channel. Um, so, uh, so I get on WS, uh, workers comp runs out. Um, even if you're a lifelong injury, it will run out. I get on disability, I'm struggling. Uh, my channel's not monetized yet because I have to break a thousand subscribers. Uh, so please subscribe and help me break those thousand subscribers. I'm not looking to be a gazillionaire. I'm not looking to be like a Jake Paul or a Tanner Fogg. I just want to bring you guys content and I want to be able to turn this into my career. Here's what happens. So I'm on disability. They give you what's called a disability card. So every month I get an allotment of money to live off of from the government on a card. It's through a bank and a credit card company. I'm not going to say their names. Um, I'm not looking to get sued and it's not their fault. Here's what happens. This major, well-known fraudster hacker guy, Vignesh, he's paying people to steal mail in my neighborhood. I'm already living in a low-income neighborhood. I'm already poor. Like, I, I this still to the like, I still can't figure out why he's targeting people who are disabled. You know, I'm disabled from my mail. Like, how do you target that? I, I just absolutely boggles my mind like it makes me sick to my stomach he figures all that out somehow i i don't know how because here's what he had to do this is all he had to do to completely rob me blind of like all my life savings every single penny i have christmas money food money rent like everything like all he had to do was go on to western union get my card number right just my card number and absolutely clean me out through an online transfer i call my co my card company i call my bank company i call western union i get a claim number i call law enforcement i do all the right things and this guy gets away with it why because he took the money out before i could realize that he cleaned me out so here's how I figured it out. I call the check. There's a number that you can call to check when it's in. I call the check after rent, bills, food. Like I literally have a hundred dollars a month. Well, two, maybe, maybe two, depending on the month to live off. Like it's not easy, but I make it work. I make it work. Like this is my camera. This is my life. Um, you know, so as long as I have my camera, I'm, I'm happy. Um, as you can see, as long as I have like my Hot Wheels, I'm happy and stuff. Like I have a laptop, it's from 2006, it's falling apart, but I edit my videos. Uh, you know, so I'm happy. As long as I can run my YouTube channel, I'm happy. My computer, like I said, it's falling apart. Uh, 
You know, like I don't have much to begin with. He gets away with it because he takes it out. So here's what happens. So I check, it's at $765. I'm like, what? I'm like, that's not right. So I'm like, well, I better go to the ATM, take out what I can and figure out what's going on. I get dressed, I call again, boom, 748. It's at $748. I'm like, oh my God, grab my crutches, get down to the ATM, which is two blocks away. Gone, everything gone, gone, just gone. Been that emotional since like the doctor was telling me he was gonna amputate my feet. Like, what? Like I'm still, and all he needed was my bank card number. In this day and age, in this climate we're living in with cyber crime, how is it that Western Union lets this guy clean me up with no PIN number, no CV number, Didn't he didn't even get my name right, my address right, or my date of birth. None of that was right. Even though he's been stealing my mail for three months, he stole my birthday card from my parents, he was stealing my medical information, like all my mail, like, I, like he couldn't get even that right, but he got the card number right. And Western Union lets it happen and he stole everything from me. Western Union, get your together. Like you let a disabled man who has nothing already get robbed and hacked and completely cleaned out. I gave you ample time to respond to me on Twitter, uh, to correct this. I want my money back. Um, and now it's on. Now I'm going to the media. This is obviously being made and put out. So now everybody on social media is gonna know. I'm going to a lawyer. I am going to the media. Understand that, because like, how is it that if I want to get something online with my card, I have to put in a CV number, get the, the date right, and the use a PIN number when I go to the bank? Like, how is it you just was able to use my PIN number, or just the, sorry, my card number? Just that, that's it. Like, he didn't get my name right, my address right, nothing. And he got away with it because, now, let me, give me a second. I'm getting, I'm just getting frustrated here. Let me help you understand, like, he frauded my bank, his bank, Western Union, frauded the Canadian government. Like, think about it. Like, that card's government issued. The only people that can take money off and on are me and the government. How is it that this guy is able to fraud a government agency card? Like, what the f is going on? I want everybody so that's why I'm making this video. I want everybody to be forewarned. Go give Western Union a piece of your mind if you agree with me that this is a travesty. Like I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm not asking for your help. I'm not. You want to help? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the only thing I'm asking. But I don't want sympathy. I'll come back from this. My followers have helped me get, offer their support and I'm so appreciative. So, you know, if you are looking to help, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I care about. I don't need a million dollars. I'm not looking for money. Like, but this is unconscionable. I, 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 I'm absolutely devastated. I haven't slept. I've barely eaten. Like I'm, I'm little, I've lost weight. I'm skin. Like I can see my ribs. Like, how is it that this major company lets it happen? So I promised to make this video to my followers. Here it is. This is what happened. How is it that uh, this major banking institution let this happen? It's unconscionable. This guy, if you're watching this and you see this, bro, like, what are you thinking? I'm disabled. Like, how much more are you willing to make me suffer? Like, I've already suffered enough. Like I'm already poor. Like you just made me even more poor. Like, come on. Like, uh, oh, okay, you guys, like I said, thank you for listening. Please, please, um, you know, help 
by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm a little emotional right now. Um, I need to edit this video and get the word out. Um, like, yeah, I'm at a loss for words now. I, I'm, I, I can't, like, I'm all, you know, like, dude, like, thanks for making me suffer even more. Like, when's it my time to win? Like, seriously, I don't do drugs. I don't drink. You know, like, I've worked hard all my life. All my life, I've worked my butt off. And that's all I was doing when I had my accident. I was just going to work. Three seconds, that's all it took to, you know, disable me for life. <sighs> Have I, I've suffered enough. Like, Western Union, get your together and fix this. I've suffered enough. I need a win here. Like, I'm sorry, I, I don't ask for much. I volunteered at church for three years. I'm sorry that this video is going long. I know the average video is 10 to 12 minutes. I'll try to cut it down to that. Um, but, you know, like, I like I volunteered at church. Like, I can't even do that anymore. This YouTube channel is supposed to, um, you know, like, uh, make up for that. Uh, that feeling of doing for other people. Like, just always trying to do the right thing. And this guy just makes it harder to do that. It's time the good guys win. So let's let's make that happen, you guys. Please, please like, share. Share this video, like, on every platform you can. Please give it a like. Let's get this video to blow up to correct this wrong. You should not be able to clean somebody out with just that, without a pin number, without a CV number. You shouldn't, it's just wrong. Okay, you guys, thank you for listening. Sorry that this went long. A lot of people asked for this video, and here it is. Okay, guys, thank you.